Growth and Spread of Panin Lesions in Three-Dimensional Space. The pancreas is an organ located deep within the abdomen. It is composed of acinar cells, islets of Langerhans, and ducts. Acinar cells produce and secrete digestive enzymes. These enzymes flow through progressively larger ducts and exit the pancreas into the duodenum. Pancreatic intraepithelial neoplasia, or PANIN, is an early, non-invasive precursor to invasive pancreatic cancer. PANINs are the result of genetic mutations in ductal cells. They arise in pancreatic ducts smaller than 5 millimeters. The normal cells lining the small ducts in the pancreas are gradually replaced by columnar epithelial cells. They can be flat or papillary. The nuclei enlarge and start to vary in size and shape. Cell clusters can bud from the papilla and the lesions multiply. While panins develop, some are recognized as foreign by the immune system. T lymphocytes are carried through blood vessels, then migrate to the small ducts. Here, they kill the abnormal panin lesion cells. Surviving panins will extend along the three-dimensional branching duct system. When they do, two ducts of the same contiguous panin lesion can appear in a two-dimensional cross-section of the pancreas. This can lead to the mistaken impression that two different ducts are involved by two different panin lesions. Cells in other panin lesions, particularly the higher grade panin lesions, can bud off and float down the pancreatic duct system. These cells can implant on a distant duct and start growing a new panin lesion. In these cases, although physically separate, the two panin lesions are going to be genetically alike. As multiple panin lesions develop, some completely independent and others genetically alike, the risk of pancreatic cancer grows and one eventually progresses to invasive cancer.